So say na tang ot nya, I'm Jessalyn. Let's dive into what's new in DevTools in Chrome 92. First up, a highly requested feature. You can now preview and author CSS grid with the new CSS grid editor. In the Styles pane, spot the new icon next to the Display Grid or Display Inline Grid. Click on it to toggle the Grid Editor. Now, you can play with the options to change the grid appearance. For example, here I change the Justify items to Center or End to see the differences. Next, a long-awaited feature of mine. The console now supports the redeclarations of con statement. It is common for developers using the console to experiment with new JavaScript code. We copy-paste the code in the console and run it. Then, we make small changes and repeat the process. Previously, DevTools threw a syntax error if the code redeclared a con binding. Not anymore. Next, you can now view the order of source elements on screen. The order of content in a HTML document is important for search engine optimization and accessibility. On a page, select an element and open the accessibility pane. Check the source order option, then you can see the source order of the elements. Next, a new shortcut to view iframe details. Right click on an iframe element in the elements panel and select show frame details. This takes you to a view of the iframe's details in the Applications panel, where you can check the document details, permissions policy, and more to debug potential issues. Cross-origin resource sharing or cause errors are now shown in the Issues tab. Click on the Issues Count button to open the Issues tab. There are many reasons causing cause errors. Click to expand each issue to understand the potential causes and solutions. Next, two minor updates in the network panel. The XHR label is now renamed to Fetch XHR. This change makes it clearer that this filter includes both XML HTTP requests and Fetch API network requests. Besides that, there is also a new option to filter the WASM network requests. Here is a bonus tip. Use the Emulate a Focus Page option to debug any focus-triggered element. For example, there are times you might want to debug a search dropdown. However, when you right-click Inspect on the search box, the dropdown is gone. Let's solve this by pulling out the Run command, type Focus, and select the Emulate a Focus Page option. Problem solved. All right. There are more new features in Chrome DevTools 92. As usual, go to the video description for the link to my blog post and other information. Thanks for watching. See you in six weeks for Chrome 93. Bye.